happy Motivation Monday. We have trainer Loren here. So we're gonna just go over um, the information for the uh, sales for this last week. So um, I've missed you guys. Thank you for spending some of your very, very busy day with me to go over all this information. So again, welcome, good morning. It's Motivation Monday. So today is January 27th, 2020. Quote of the day, courage is resistance to fear. Mystery of fear, not absence of fear. And that's a beautiful quote from none other than Mark Twain. So let's just go ahead and uh, get into our Motivation Monday. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Again, thank you so, so much for spending some of your day with me. I know you're super busy, so I appreciate it. So <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, please, I have a bit of a frog in my throat. So today we're going to go over the tip of the week, sales shout out, which is my personal favorite. And then today's topic is how to get referrals. Now, some people have been like, well, whatever. I I have all the referrals I need. You can never have too many referrals. At least that's my. So now the tip of the week, we've, this has kind of been a repeat for me personally, but I do want to cover it again because we've had some agents that have had a lot of questions and problems and, and they kind of sort of forget this part. So we're just gonna go over it again. And for those of you who have already seen this, I apologize, but you know, I'd rather we go over it and make sure it, the information sticks. So available for all Nat Gen products. So available effective dates, you can write any effective date, whether it's the first through the 31st, of the month, provided there's 30 days in the month, or 30 or leap year. Remember, you can always make the policy effective as soon as the next day. So again, for those of you that have already seen this or already know this information, I appreciate you hanging out, but we have kind of had a lot of uh, questions in the training box regarding this particular subject. So again, just uh, reiterate that tip of the week because there's been a little confusion. So I just wanted to touch base and make sure everybody understood it, okay? So again, Nat Gen effective date for January, excuse me, NatGen products, you can now write an effective date, anything between the first of the month and the end of the month. And then you can uh, make that policy as effective as soon as the next day. So these are really great options for you guys. But again, first through the end of the month. All right, guys. So let's just go ahead and go on to my favorite part. So if I say your name incorrectly, please, I beg in advance. I'm sorry. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the sales leaders and kudos for the week of January 20th. So on the short term medical, we have Nat Jen as the leader in sales. And then on the limited med, we have golden rule in the non pool. And then under the accident, NetGen has the highest numbers of being sold. And then critical illness, again, is NetGen. So we've got three NetGens. Great job, guys. Again, remember that that policy can be written between the first of the month and the end of the month. So, and that's all of the NetGen policies, okay? So dental, the leader in sales is golden rule, non-pool. And then the sales leaders for the week of January 20th. Under the short-term medical, we have William Cox. Great job, William. And then of course, Katia Santa Maria. A great job, great job. And then this is a new name for me, so forgive me in advance if I say it long, wrong. 
Um, we have Kimberly Lucart. Great, great job. Great job, all three of you on the short-term medical. Guys, keep pushing. I love seeing new names on here. And we have under the limited med, we have Aaron Ellis. That's a new name for me. Great job, Aaron. Good job, good job. And then we have Jacob Gordon under the limited med. Again, great job. And then under the accident plans, we have William Cox. Great job, William. And then Edgardo Moreno. Again, great job to all of you. Love it. Love seeing the new names, challenging each other, pushing each other. Um, you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing. So to all of you that have pushed those sales and got your names on here, congratulations. Um, I hope to see you guys next week as well. Good job. So let's get into our topic of choice this week. Now, this is how to get referrals. Now, if you'll notice here, this is my little referral tree. Now, you'll note that at the bottom, there's the young woman. And as, as the tree is getting bigger, it's branching out. So in my opinion, as a salesperson, it is important to ask for referrals. It's also common for someone that you're working with on a potential sale is thinking of someone else that they know that could benefit from your services. So ask before, during, and after your sale, regardless if you guys get the sale or not. You close the sale, sometimes people are are looking for additional information, ask for the referral. Always ask for the referral. What's the worst that they can tell you? No? Well, you know, here's the thing. Um, if you ask for the referral, more times than not, you're gonna receive that referral. Uh, where I did sales, I always asked. I always asked. You know, the first couple times it was kind of scary because I was, scared of rejection, but I found that, you know, it was easier to ask and not second guess myself later on. Oh man, I should have asked for that referral. Maybe they could have gave me a referral or maybe they would have told me no, but you know, at least I knew because I did put in the work to ask. So, you know, while you are, are asking for referrals, you know, you're building a rapport. And you know, you want to be known as someone that works with people who are knowledgeable, professional, and of course, fun. You know, for me as a salesperson, and granted, I didn't know all the answers all the time. That's why I had all those people around me or a phone call away that were more knowledgeable in particular areas. Of course, they were professional and this way I could approach my intern and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I don't have the answer. That is a great question, Mr. Johnson, but let me make a phone call or let me get a hold of someone and I'll get that answer. So once I received that answer, I could give that on to Mr. Johnson and Mr. Johnson felt more comfortable with me acknowledging where I didn't know anything. And, you know, again, after I was done, I would ask Mr. Johnson if he knew of someone that could utilize my services or had questions about their current policies. And then of course, you know, be upfront with your customers. It's most important because more times than not, our customers are super savvy now, especially with, you know, access to the internet, just at your fingertips, customers know when you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes. So one of the things that I always, always, always stressed because I wanted to earn that referral, always wanted to earn that referral because again, you're building a good rapport. So I would follow up with my clients and I would tell them, you know, 
we wrote this policy for your short-term medical or your whatever the policy was, I would make appointments to go back to the house so I could go over that information with them. Or I had a dedicated person in my office. In my particular case, it was my twin brother. And my twin brother would call and just verify that a person received their medical cards. And when they received the medical cards, you know, he would walk them through the process online of how to look for a doctor, how to look for, um, you know, a, a clinic, a hospital. And then again, at the end of that phone call, whether it was myself or my twin brother, you know, we would ask for those leads. But remember, leads are essential for any business, but you don't want that new lead to be ex at the expense of your current client. So, you know, make new friends, but keep the old, my nanny used to say. So that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to make new friends, new contacts. So make sure that you are in touch with your customers for more than just that renewal or the claim. So I used to keep a book of people's wedding anniversaries and I would also keep if the the children's names and the children's birthdays, and I would send out cards every month. I had this little list that I would go through, and I had an insert in the card that you know wished Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Johnson a happy anniversary. Um, but I would also put a little referral note in there that if they wanted me to look at their life insurance policy, or if they wanted me to look at their um, current medical policies, you know, to give me a call because, you know, as we're aging, our, our policy wants, needs, and desires are changing. So you used to get a lot of callback business. Hey, what worked for us two years ago may not be working for us now. And, you know, my cousin's now in town. They need insurance too. So again, reaching out just because of a renewal or a claim, no, that's not cutting it anymore. You need to make your service to your insured more personal. People appreciate that. They always remember you as well. And then of course, even if it doesn't lead to a sale, it's again, building that good rapport because you are taking the time to acknowledge a person and make them feel special and not just a number as I'm sure all of us have felt like that at one time or another, whether it's your doctor's office or you know, even an insurance agent before you got into the industry. So another way for getting great referrals, advertise yourself, advertise yourself, advertise yourself, advertise yourself. So you have email, you have blogging, social media, or my personal favorite is handing out a business card. I am more of a people person. So I prefer to be in front of people and talk to people and, you know, how many times have you went through your car when you were cleaning it or your purse or your wallet and you were, you found someone's business card and you were like, oh, wait, yeah, I remember him. Him and I had a great conversation about life insurance. Well, chances are because you've made that connection, you're going to get more than one referral. Now keep in mind when it comes to social media, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, these are all great outlets, but make sure that you're looking at your target market. So like if you're looking for those 20 somethings, go to Instagram and Snapchat. If you're looking for people that are looking for a lead or you're putting yourself out there to be more professional, you know, be selective where 
you're putting that social media post. I personally wouldn't be putting it on Instagram. You know, the demographic on Instagram is ages 17 through 20. Chances are they're probably on their mom and dad's life in, or medical insurance at this point in life. Personal approach works best. And this is my opinion. I like the the one on one or in a group with people. I like to leave an impression. Um, so whenever I'm thinking about that insurance, I'd be like, oh, that that lady with the big crazy red hair. What was her name again? Oh, I think I have a business card. And I used to put on my business cards, Loren, crazy hair, Cunningham. Obviously, that was before I was married. But people remembered me for my big crazy hair because again, I went out of my way to make sure that I talked to people, I approached them. Specialize in products you sell. You know, my Nana used to say, you're better off mastering a few things than being a jack of all trades and mastering none. So make sure that you know you're on point with what your your knowledge. But I, it's not a bad thing to say, hey, you know what, Mr. Johnson, I'm not real familiar with that product, but let me do a little homework and I can get back to you with those questions. Create a list of people, communities that you know and want to get in front of. Now, I at one point lived in uh, the great state of Montana. I used to belong to um, a couple of different charity groups that worked with senior citizens. I was part of the Business and Professional Women's Association, Seroptimus. Um, those were great outlets for me to get in front of and, and meet people. And again, that personal approach, even in, in that particular environment, environment, excuse me. Um, when, if you are into car clubs, if you're into like bird watching, if you're, whatever your hobbies are, um, I would encourage you to seek out those, those particular groups and, you know, network with those like that car club, if you will because when people have questions, they're gonna to come to you because they know you. So let's talk about steps that you can take now. Simple processes, and you know, sometimes you, you don't see it till it's right in front of your face. And I, I know I'm guilty of it myself. Um, add a referral link to your signature. Now, when I'm talking about your signature, I'm talking about your email signatures. Um, add that referral link. People love that. Let your uh, sales today know that you will follow up. Again, we're just reiterating that. This gives you the opportunity once you've completed the follow up to again ask about referrals. Now, I'm not saying you want to be aggressive about it, but you know, you can quietly and patiently work that in there. And then again, create a network organizational chart. Now, I am a visual person, so I like charts. Um, if you're not a visual person, you know, so be it. But I like to create org charts, organizational charts um, of groups and people that I like to talk with and meet with and, and so forth. Now guys, if there are any problems, questions, concerns, if you have questions on your sales, if you need assistance, remember we always are always available for email and you can email the training box at ahcpsales.com or you can call the agency service 877-228 eight seven seven three and again if you question or if you are not sure on something please make sure that you go ahead and, and email or call the agency services 
there's always someone available to check that email box or take that phone call. So guys, thank you so much for spending a portion of your day with me. I appreciate you. I understand you're all super busy. So I hope this information was helpful. So you guys have a great day. and. Uh